Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing these whip lights from Loyo LED. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe. So a while back, Loyo LED reached out to me and asked if they sent this to me, would I give it my full and honest review? And I intend to do just that. Now this has actually been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. I feel really bad because I have not gotten to it, but this product was not live on their website just yet. And it is officially live here just a few days ago. So you can go ahead and check these out. I will leave a link down in the description below. If you do decide that you like these lights, or you wanna check out some other things that they have on their website. They have a lot of different whip lights. Also, if you do go to their website and you purchase anything, make sure you use code VENTURE for 10% off your entire purchase. So these here are their 24 inch whip lights. They are actually really sturdy. I would not call them a whip light. I would call them some kind of stick. I don't know what you would call them, but they do not whip. They are nice and solid. They are about two inches in diameter and I've got to play with them a little bit. And so far, I think that they are really cool. Cool. This kit is designed to be used in unison, so it's not like you're getting two sticks. They are made to run together, and I'll show you more about that in just a minute. But in this kit, it comes with the two whip lights. It comes with wiring and a module. It'll also come with a remote with all your colors and controls. It also comes with two American flags and a way to rig those flags to your whip lights. Now, first impressions, they are obviously less expensive than a lot of other brands out there, but I don't really see where they cut in the quality. It seems pretty sturdy and it seems like it works pretty good. Now they also have an app. It has over 120 different light modes on it, but really it's only like 30 different light modes with a lot of different colors and it all adds up to a little over 120 light modes. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to use these just yet, I thought maybe when I get my roof rack built on my XJ, I can mount them up high, but I don't want them to get hung up on anything. One of the great things about these short solid whips is you don't have to worry about hitting anything. You don't have to worry about them hitting the trees as bad. They're not sticking way up there. Downside to that is you're not as visible. So if you're trying to use it as like your flag, because a lot of places require you to have a flag so many feet in the air, it will not work out for that. But it does help you to be visible and they kind of look cool. But like I said, I'm not sure if I want them on my XJ or my TJ just yet. Either way it goes, I'm gonna either make them removable or maybe mount it to some kind of swivel so I can swivel it down and out of the way. I'll do that if I decide to mount them on my roof rack. Now my favorite feature of these whip lights is they have a brake light mode and a turn signal mode. You can turn on your blinker or your signal and one side or the other will flash and when you hit your brakes, they will light up. And I'll show you that here in a minute when I rig them up to my Jeep. Now what makes that feature so great is it makes you way more visible so you don't get run into like this. Not much damage to my Jeep. The front end of his Toyota might have been a little broken, but that's all right. It gave him an excuse to hurry up and purchase his off-road bumper. I'm glad he didn't hit me with that because it would have caused a lot more damage. So I'm going to get these wired up so I can show you some of the features. I hope it translates well on camera. So I'm not sure how well this is translating on camera, but I'm gonna go through and adjust some of the settings so you guys can see kind of how they work. So I'm not gonna be using the remote because it didn't come with a battery. And honestly, I forgot to buy it because I just been playing with them with the app. So let me open up the app real quick. Now the app was pretty quick to connect and it's got some cool features like let's say I want red lights, I've got solid red lights. If I want blue lights, I've got solid blue lights. Green, bright cyan. You can also come in here and adjust your brightness. If I want them to be dimmer, I can make them dimmer. If I want them to be extremely bright, I can make them extremely bright. It also has like that full color where you can pick anywhere on the map and we can adjust and mix the colors and make it whatever we want it to be. Now let's go through some of the modes. It has a jumping mode for each color, which I think these are pretty cool, the way it swirls around. It has a multicolored jumping mode. Once again, 
in just about every color. It also has like this rotating change of color, which I thought was pretty neat. It also has more jumping modes, more different color modes, up, down, spin around, a bunch of different modes. I think it's pretty cool. And now this here is just one of my favorite modes. It is just the lights kind of moving along. It isn't extremely distractive, but it makes me extremely noticeable out there on the trail. Another feature inside the app is you can adjust the intensity of the speed. So I'm gonna speed this up and you can see that the light changes pretty rapidly. And I'm gonna slow this all the way down and you guys can see that it moves extremely slowly and you can adjust the speed and brightness of any of the different light modes. Now, something I was really excited about when I saw it in the app is it has a music mode and it does have three pre-programmed songs in there. I don't know what they are because the names of the songs are not in English, but it does have a microphone mode. And then when you put it into microphone mode, it's supposed to change based off of what it hears through the phone in the app. Problem is it's buggy and it doesn't work right. I was extremely excited about this feature. I hope they get this ironed out in the long run because it is a really cool feature, but it obviously doesn't work very well because there was no sound just then and the lights were going crazy. So maybe they should just get rid of the microphone mode altogether, get rid of the music mode altogether, or give you the option to upload different songs. That would be amazing. And I've noticed that the app can be buggy. I'll go from one screen to the next screen and it'll freeze up. And right now it is completely frozen and I'll have to exit out of the app, reopen it, and then I can adjust my light modes again. Now I wanna show you guys how the blinkers work. So as you can see, the light on one side is still going, but I turn on my flasher for my left-hand side here, and it turns to this amber color and starts flashing along with my actual vehicle flasher. And as you can see, it changed right back to the mode it was previously set to when I turned off the flasher. Now, I think that's a really cool feature, but it doesn't help much for on-road use because obviously these are not to be used while you're driving on the road. Now, these also have a brake light. I'm gonna hook that up real quick so I can show you guys how well that works. So this is just the normal light mode. And then once you press on the brakes, brings up the solid red light all the way up and down. And when you release the brakes, it goes right back to the light mode that you previously had it set on. So overall, I do think these are really cool. I really like the vast amount of colors and light modes that you can use, but I do wish that the features in the app worked a whole lot better than they actually do. Maybe they should just get rid of the music feature altogether and just stick with the different light modes. Anyway, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out Loyo LED. I'll go ahead and leave links down in the description below. And if you do decide to go check these out and make a purchase, make sure you use code VENTURE. That way they know I sent you as well as you will receive 10% off your purchase. Anyway, you can check me out on Instagram at It's Project Venture, as well as the Tickety Talk at It's Project Venture. Thanks for watching. I'd get a ticket if I ran those all the time, right? They're pretty neat, but I'm pretty sure I would get a ticket. Hey, 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 out, 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 out. No, 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 wrong direction, get out. Out of the garage, go, go. That's not your home, go on, shoot.